So guys, welcome back to another video. In this video today, we are going to be trying out a pretty good looking Team of the Season card in the form of Team of the Season Lozano, who I have just picked up for 205k. It's like 10 past 6 right now, so I've been trying to snipe on. I've missed quite a few, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that a bunch of Lozanos have been listed for about 100k. I just wasn't quick enough, so um, I've ended up paying 200k, but at the current time, that's still pretty cheap, so you know what, I could sell him right now for profit, but instead, we're going to use him, we're going to try him out and see if he's as good as we think he potentially could be, because let's be honest, second in form Lozano is a fantastic card, so um, yeah, it goes without saying, I've got big hopes for team of the season Lozano, let's get him into a team, and you know, let's try him out. Okay then guys, I've created a team for this team of the season Lozano. It's, you know, not the most creative of sides, but it works. So we've got a Bundesliga, backline and midfield and left forward. And then we have Lozano and Locadia up top. So uh, we're not going to focus on the rest of the team, we're going to focus on Lozano. So let's have a look at this guy's card. Four star, four star, that is very nice for a winger. Into the in-game stats we go, 99 acceleration, that is pleasing. Off the mark, he should be incredibly quick. In the shooting column, 92 finishing, 95 positioning, that is fantastic. 95 shot power too, so cross goal shots are definitely going to be an option. He's also got 91 crossing, so if we can't get a shot away, we could whip in a pretty good ball, but we should be able to do so anyway. 85 kev is decent. 87 composure is pretty good for a winger. 99 agility is awesome to see, as is the 95 in-game dribbling. He's also got 84 heading accuracy, which... You know, could come in pretty useful because he has got 98 jumping, so he could win a few headers. And he stands at five foot nine, which you know isn't tall, but it's actually not that short for a fast winger. 99 stamina means he should last the full game, and 74 strength isn't too bad for a pacey winger. So um, yes, that's why he looks absolutely fantastic. He really does, and he looks like he could be a player that definitely has an impact on a game. So without further ado. This is the team we're going to be using. For most of this video, I'm going to be looking in that this direction, so, you know, um, you're not going to see too much. But, let's get in some games, let's test him out, and let's see how this guy does. But just before we do, guys, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment below if you've tried this guy, let me know how he was for you. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get in some games, and let's see how Team the Season Lozano gets on in my club, well, in my team. Let's go. Okay then, here we go into game number one, and he has a pretty interesting team. Now, I think he's actually going to be playing for the objective, so, you know, he's going to be quite quite the attacking player in this game, but his defence is actually solid. He's got Vran, Gerdin, Testegen, and that awesome right back whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce. But anyway, let's go. Let's see how we do. Come on. Is that on a tracking back there? All right, let's see. He's taking some heavier touches than I expected him to. He didn't seem as agile as other players when he was in possession though. Good bit of skill, great shot. Good save from Testegen. Maybe should have uh, put a bit more power into that shot, but tested to keep it nonetheless. Right, the counter attack is where Lozano should shine and here is a golden opportunity. Simple finesse and that is 1-0. There we go. He is like one of the perfect counter attacking players really. Well, he looks it anyway on paper. And um, he definitely should. Why? With that nice little finish. Unlucky to Stegen. Unlucky. Good opportunity. Bit of skill. Bit of sk oh, he won the ball back. We just couldn't keep it under his spell. Here's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity. Oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, we've got it. Win it back. What I'm saying, win it back. Keep possession. Look, he's taking some heavy touches right now. And they're really frustrating because his dribbling is meant to be a bit better. But it's a bit better here. bit better here. And he's been knocked off the ball. Oh, here's an opportunity. The counter-attack opportunity. Has he got the pace? He has. Has he got the finish? He has. Left-footed finish. 2-0. And I think that'll be game over. I really do. Lozano gets a brace on debut. Whip it in. Oh, that's a golden opportunity for a header. But he didn't position himself correctly. Great player. Great player. Yeah. Fair player. Good goal. I just hate conceding. I'm a terrible loser. I don't know if you've worked that one out yet, but... Oh. Lozano, instant response. Great ball control there. Bangless, bangless. Ah, oh, unlucky. Showed some really good ball control there. Good composure. Well, good agility. Good dribbling. Uh-oh. 
Whoa, how has that not gone in? And why was my defender playing him on there? All right, come on, we need to get a fair goal. Lozano, lead the charge. Okay, this is a great opportunity. This is a fantastic opportunity. If the ball is right, and it is right, Lozano, finish this. There we go. Whew. Game changer. Game changer. And that should win us the game. Because we were getting, like, absolutely just peppered for the past, like, 15 FIFA minutes. But Lozano, once again, on the counter-attack. Okay then guys, full time. Lozano, man of the match. And the hat trick too, so he gets the match ball on debut. But um overall thoughts from game one. He's quick. Like when he's in space, his shooting's great. But um not as strong as I expected. And his general dribbling wasn't as good as I hoped it would be after seeing the stats. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. It's only one game. But um he did take some pretty heavy touches in that match. But as a whole, I'm pretty impressed. He's um I can see why he's going to be quite the game changer for some people in weekend league. But anyway, let's get into another game and let's see how he does against a different kind of opposition. But it turns out my camera wasn't working that well for game number um, one and two. So yeah, I'm not really going to use the camera footage from either of those. But we're going to game number three and we're going to focus in this one. So hopefully we can get a win. Nice green back connection. So there should be no lag. Coming up against the hashtag United kit. That is a pretty good team. I hate coming up against Azpilicueta in this game because he's so damn good. Some really good players in there, Malcolm, De Bruyne and David Silva. I'm going to presume he's got all three of them from the team of the season um, guaranteed packs. So yeah, let's get into this and hopefully Lozano can shine more than his team of the season cards. That's the ball. There's a bit of button delay, which I'm not fond of right now. Pass. Pass. Hmm. Hopefully sorts itself out. Lozano with a chance. Wins the ball. Oh, wow. That's a nice finish. That's a very nice goal. Showed a good bit of strength there. I know it's Azpilicueta. is not the strongest of centre-backs. But still, you've got to beat what's in front of you. He showed a good bit of strength to knock uh, Azpilicueta off the ball. Won it. And then it was actually a very nice finesse shot. Curling into the far side. Look at Lozano, always making the right run. And he's going to score as well. Two goals after six minutes. And it's, once again, a Lozano masterclass. Great run. Like, I know he didn't defend it that well, but Lozano's making the runs into space, and that's what you want from an attacker like this, who has his ball control, who took the ball down very well and then finished it very nicely. So just from there, you saw good positioning, good dribbling, and then um, also good finishing. Good composure too. That was pointless. Oh, I thought he was gone. If he got just that little extra touch there, he was gone. Right there. Right there. Let's whip it in. One for the early one. Oh, he's gone in! What a header from Leon Bailey! And just like that, it's 3-0. That was a great cross from Lozana, to be fair, but... I, I'm definitely impressed with the header from Bailey there because he's put it in the top corner. Unfortunately, we're not going to see a replay because this guy, I believe, is about to quit. There we go. Well, let's get into another game quickly then. Two goals and an assist in 15 minutes from Lozano. So after that match, I did play a couple more games off camera and I have to say I had a lot of fun using this Lozano card. The guy is very quick and aside from a couple of heavy touches now and then, his dribbling's brilliant. He's very agile and perfect for skill moves. I really liked his shooting, I thought he was pretty clinical for a winger, though on occasions I did feel like his shots lacked a bit of power, but they were always accurate, whether from inside or outside the box, and if a shot is accurate, if it's on target, there's always a chance it could go in. His passing was great, I've got no complaints there, he is capable of whipping in some very fast paced curling crosses, and that's what you want. Heading wise, I was unsuccessful in my attempts to score a header with this guy, but he did challenge a lot aerially, which of course was pleasing. Physically, the guy has the stamina to play the full 90 and then some if needed, 
but um, I know a lot of you will be using him as a super sub. The strength of 74 for a winger is actually decent. He'll battle well against fullbacks, but he'll struggle against, you know, the stronger, fast centre backs like Eric Bailly, Sergio Ramos, etc. Positionally, you saw in the clips, the guy is on point most of the time. I had no issues when passing or shooting with this guy on his weak foot either. So, as a whole, it's a brilliant card. He isn't, you know, the best winger on the game. He isn't the quickest. He isn't the best dribbler. He isn't the best at shooting. But he is an elite attacking option. He has some fantastic stats and in-game he is very effective. You could certainly use this card as a striker if you wanted to. But um, I would keep him on the wing to be honest. He's perfect for counter-attacking football. And he is a brilliant super sub option. So, the question of the video. Is Team the Season Lozano worth his current price? Yeah, he is. He's currently, as I'm checking right now, let me have a look. At the current time, on the PlayStation, he's 215k, and on Xbox, 225k. He's worth that, in my opinion. He really is. Even if you would just want him as a super sub, I think he is worth that. But he's going to drop in price, which is awesome. But um, overall, I do think Lozano is worth his current price. And if he drops below 200k... Is a bargain in my opinion. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on Team the Season Lozano. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. I tried to do something a bit different. The camera's really let me down, so I'm, I'm going to have to buy a new camera if I want to do more face cam stuff in future. But I hope you enjoyed it. Nevertheless, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.